All right, let's get into editing on account mixer. I'll drag this song onto the account sheet so we can play with it. When I click on a song or any audio clip on the grid, it brings up this toolbar. In here, there's a couple of things you're going to use all the time. One of them is the volume adjustment. It's the third icon. When you click it, it brings up a slider. You can make the clip louder or softer. Another that you're going to use all the time are the scissor fingers. When you click on the scissor fingers, it cuts the clip into two different clips uh, at the end of the beat that you clicked, clicked on. So if I click on the fifth beat, it pops up the toolbar. I click the scissor fingers, it cuts at the end of the fifth beat. Now this is a separate clip. It's like I cut out that section of the song, whether I because I like it or because I want to remove it. Uh, then if I want to delete it, I can click it, and the last icon is the trash can, and that'll delete a clip. Trimming clips. The left side and right side of a clip have grab handles. When you grab them, you can resize the clip. When you click and hold a grab handle, you'll see these red boxes light up on the screen. The one on the left, or the earlier one in the A-count sheet, indicates the start of the audio clip that is available. And the, and the later red box indicates the end of the audio clip that is available. So, I can scroll this Katy Perry Rise song out all the way down to that ending red box. I can also trim from the beginning of this song. So now when this song plays, it starts on the fifth beat of the audio clip. I've cut out the first four beats. This is different than clicking and dragging the entire track. When I click and drag the entire track, the first beat of the track is now on this five, as indicated by my red box when I try to resize. But if I want the song to actually start on a one, but I want to cut out the first three beats, I drag the song so the whole track starts on one. I click the left grab handle. The red box indicates to me, yes, this clip is starting on a one, but now I'd like to trim from the left by clicking that grab handle on the left and trim out the first three beats. And then from the end, I'd like to trim out the last eight count. Between split and trim, those are probably two of the most powerful editing things in a count mixer. And that's true of almost any music editing software. Split and trim is probably the most used uh, hotkeys or, or functions in the program. Aside from that, track offset. This makes very, very subtle movements. Um, really, you'd never use this on a song. You'd use it on a voiceover. If a voiceover is just slightly out of alignment on the grid, you'd nudge it left or you'd nudge it right. And one more awesome feature is this sixth icon, alternate tracks. When you click this, it gives you a drop-down menu of any other al alternate clips that we have. So sometimes we make an elite version of a song or we make a hip-hop version of a song where there's alternate sections. So when you change the clip in the drop-down menu, it replaces it on the grid. It took out the old one and replaced it with this new version of Katy Perry Rise. It's a, an alternate version, and that's how you're going to find lots of, create lots of variety and lots of variation in your mix.